Hello, hello, and welcome back, budgeters. We are doing our last check-in of March. This is for March week number five's expenses. We're gonna go ahead and get started. We also are gonna be doing uh, some savings challenges and stuffing those, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and leave that here for right now. We are gonna go ahead and in total for our savings challenges, we are working with $272. And then we also have, um, as you guys remember, the $1 challenge, we had $55. And I'm going to go ahead and put, I went ahead and took those ones, put them back in the bank, and I withdrew the denominations that I did want. And we are going to go ahead and stuff the envelopes, our envelopes here with that $1 savings challenge. And that is of $55 extra that we're adding in. So in total, we're working with $327 with that $1 uh, savings challenge. So we're going to leave this here. I'm going to first do our check-in. So let's go ahead and do that. So as you guys can see, I had a couple expenses this week. I went out to ramen and I paid cash and it was $32.35. So let's go ahead and take a look. So in my dining out category, maybe I'll do it this way so y'all can see. So dining out, I have one, two, and five. So $7 left over in here. And so we're gonna go ahead and leave that there for now. So $7 left in out of the 40 that we spent um, for our food. Okay, so moving on, um, I actually didn't spend anything in my spending category. So there's a full 10 left. And so gas, gas is, okay. So gas this week was $5.39 per gallon. So I spent a total of $40.83 on my credit card um, to fill up my tank. So. We're gonna go ahead and take out that amount since we did use my credit card. So let's do that. We should have 50 here total. So let's go ahead and pull from here, shall we? Okay, so $40. So I'm gonna do a 40, 41. So this is four, 40, 30, 40. And I'm going to do the grodiest of dollars. I mean, they're all pretty bad, so I guess I'll just do this one. <laughs> so in total, in my gas envelope, I should have, I should have $9 left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine dollars left in my gas category, which is amazing. I don't think we've had that much rollover in gas in a very long time. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back. Maybe I wanna put I don't know, I kind of don't want all these fives, huh? I kind of want to get rid of the ones. So maybe I'll do that. Let's keep these nice ones. Two, three, and four. And so these $5 or $1 bills can go here. And we'll pull a five. And one of the nicer fives is this one. So good. <laughs> Man, I'm like all over the place, huh? Okay, so that's that. There we go, that looks way better. A little bit thinner too. <laughs> so that's $9 left there. Okay, so uh, credit card total, we spent five, uh, $55 and 
72 cents, but that's also because I also had a sinking funds expense again. Uh, I also ordered some envelopes again, and that totaled up to be $14.89, and that was through my credit card since I purchased through Etsy. So we are gonna go ahead and pull from our sinking funds also. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As of cash though, we only had one cash uh, expense, and that was for ramen, the $32.35. So let's go ahead and put this away as I don't need this anymore. But I do need to pull from my personal fund and that is in this one. So let's go ahead and pull that. Okay. So Hello Kitty. It's my personal one. And this should have, I think, $24. So I need to put a 10 back in here so i'm going to pull that put these four dollar bills back in here and pull a 10 and take this 20 in there so i have ten dollars left in my personal fund i know it's 14.89 but i did round up for my other expenses so it should be fine so let's just double check so in total expenses, I had $55.72. So I should have 56 in here at least. So let's count this up real quick. So we've got 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Is that right? No, oh, I should have another dollar in there. I thought I pulled... Yeah, it should be 15, huh? 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Yeah, I need to pull one more dollar from my cash envelopes. So let's go ahead and do that. Since I'd rather pay more than, than not. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let me get my wallet back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the gas one. Actually, let's just take it out of the dining out one. Yeah. So now we should have 56. So go ahead and leave that there. Okay. Now we are done, guys. Okay, so all together this week, including our cash and credit card expenses, we spent a total of $88.07, and we had a total of five no-spend days. So I'm going to go ahead and divvy this up. We are going to go ahead and put this into our bank envelope. So let's do that. Um, speaking of which, I also need to move. So the bank also has the $55 from my $1 savings challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over and take it out since this is what I'll be stuffing into my envelopes. This 20 isn't nice, so I'm going to put this 20 in there. Does this 5 look better? No. So we'll leave that there, this 20 in here. Put it back into the bank. So 20, 40, 50, and 55. And this is all from my $1 savings challenge. So we'll put that here. And let's go ahead and put this money um, into the bank so we can pay off my credit card. This is thick today. It's all those ones. Okay. Go ahead and put that here. Okay. 
let's go ahead and open this up. So this should be 327. So 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So that is correct. And that is it. Now we are going to go ahead and we are going to switch since we no longer need my expense book. Move that along and we're going to go ahead and pull this. So I can go ahead and put this. No, we can't put this here. Okay. So our first binder our priority sinking fund is going to be car and that is going to be in our green binder our mojo jojo one so let's go ahead and do that is it in this one i think so yes it is okay <laughs> doubting myself already but i was correct so car is going to get 25 dollars this week and it ha currently has 200, so we're gonna do 120 and 15. So it has 225 in total. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to emergency. And emergency should have $200 in there, and it does. And we're going to go ahead and put $25 in there too. So this is $225 into emergency. So all of our priority sinking funds are going to get to $25 this week, guys. Okay, now we're going to move on to moving, and that is not in this binder. So we're going to move this aside. And our moving binder is in this one, our Powerpuff Girls binder. And that is gonna get $25 and it currently has 200. So 120 and 15. So it has 225. is it for our expenses but I'm actually gonna go ahead and so with the one dollar savings challenge we ended up having fifty five dollars in ones and I switched out these denominations so I'm actually gonna go ahead and like I said before this one dollar savings challenge is going towards my personal funds so I'm splitting it between my long-term savings um, envelope and this is my short-term one this is my personal I can just use it for whatever I want it currently has a 10 and I am actually going to go ahead and put, ooh, I'm going to put 25 into this. So I'm going to do 120 and 15. 
So I have currently, I have 20, 30, and 35 in my envelope. So that leaves me, since I stuffed this, uh, I stuffed $25 from my savings challenge. It leaves me with $30 going into my long-term savings envelope. So that is that. I figured I'd split it and make use of the money I was able to save up. So be a little smart with it. So we're going to move this along. I think that is it for this binder. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and I'm going to actually stuff the rest of that $1 savings challenge money into my long-term savings challenge or savings envelope just so we can get it out of the way. So that is this one and it already has a 20 in there and I'm going to go ahead and put a 30 in there. So 20 and a 10. So I have $50 total in my long-term savings envelope. Okay. Okay. And that is it for this binder. And now we're going to move on to our savings challenges. So my no spend gets $5 this week since I had five no spend days. I'm going to go ahead and just stuff this. I am not counting it um, within the weeks. I just want to be surprised each at the end of each month. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that five in there. Okay. And then I am not stuffing my 52 week savings challenge today or this week. And we're going to do our save -opoly. So I am going to go ahead and get my die real quick. Here we go. And so I think the most we can um, lay, uh, put into our Saveopoly is 100. So I am ready for that if that does end up happening. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out real quick so y'all can see it. There we go. So Saveopoly right here. Okay, let's roll this die. So I landed on two and we were at um one two we were at 35 here so i'm gonna go ahead and do one two oh it's another 35 dollars so we're saving another 35 dollars guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do a 20 a 10 and a five so i'm also not going to count this until the end of each um monthly uh close out so i'm just gonna stuff it in there I just want to be surprised, I guess, at each month, seeing what I can save up and whatnot. So maybe I should mark off what I've landed on, I guess. I don't know. We're going to be doing this a lot. So, but we did land here last time. So we'll go from, we'll, we'll stop there. We just got to remember that we landed there and then we'll go from there. So we'll be doing this again next week. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in there. So we've gotten 35 twice so far, guys. It's pretty funny. I do kind of hope that one time I do land on the $100, the jail one or whatever, um, just because it'll help me save more money, you know? Uh, and that is it for this binder. So we are going to be doing one more savings challenge today, and that is our 100 envelope uh, savings challenge. And we are going to be stuffing $92 today. So let me go ahead and put this die away. So 92. And then we're going to be doing eight next week. So we're going to do 150, 120, or two twenties. So 50, 70, 90, 
and then 91, 92. So that is all going into here. And then we'll be stuffing $8. Oh, that flew. Clearly does not want to get stuffed. <laughs> It's never been opened before. Okay. Well, that's a thick one. So 92 go in there. And so in a week's time or a week and a half or in two weeks, we'll be stuffing number eight. Since I always like to stuff a hundred dollar total. So that is that for that. Let me go ahead and put a heart here. As you guys already know, there's money left over just because I do do save a and I don't roll the die beforehand. Um, I do put like a $100 denominations from it um, just so I'm covered from there. So let's go ahead and put a heart on 92. And that is right here. So 92 is stuffed. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven total we have stuffed so far this year, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Um, obviously I'm taking a little bit more, I'm a lot slower than most people in the sense that I am only able to stuff like two a month, but hey, it's still a hundred dollars each month going in towards my envelope. So there we have it. Okay guys, that is it for today. We are gonna go ahead and close it off here thank you guys again for coming in and um hopefully april brings in a lot more um savings and whatnot and so i'm excited guys um please do make sure you guys check out my previous video as it was a march closeout um yeah um if y'all are curious to see how much we've saved so far uh since the start of my journey um it is all there and uh, thank you guys again for coming out today and um, watching my check-in for week number five of March. And we're going to be moving on to April. So I will see you guys in a couple days time uh, with my April cash stuffing of week number one. Thank you guys again. And uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell to be notified uh, when I upload next. And I will see you guys then. Thank you guys again. Bye budgeters. Thank you.